Hey guys, in this one, I wanna show you how to install WordPress and Elementor in WordPress if you're using Bluehost for your web hosting. So I'm gonna go through the web hosting signup process with Bluehost, then installing WordPress on Bluehost, and then going through some plugins with Elementor to give you some free themes as well. So yeah, I hope it really helps. Before we get started with the signup process for Bluehost, if you do want to go and use Bluehost and you haven't already, then I do have a link in the description, which will give you a free domain when you sign up and you can get web hosting for like under $3, even under three pounds in the UK. So you can use that link if you haven't signed up already, but I'll go through the signup process with Bluehost and installing WordPress so you can see how it's done. Once you're on Bluehost, you'll see that you actually get a free domain for the first year and a free SSL certificate as well. And this is really great, one click WordPress install, which is exactly what we want. You also get 24 seven support. You can call them or chat them. And as you can see, you get an introductory offer and a 30 day money back guarantee as well. I think it's really great. So let's click get started and we'll go through the setup process. If you just wanna try Bluehost out, you can actually just go for the basic at under $3 a month. You only get one website and up to 50 gigabytes of storage. That may be enough for you though, so you might wanna go with that. You also get a domain included in that price, which is really great. I'm gonna go for Choice Plus though, because you get unlimited websites, which means you can have loads of domains on the same hosting plan. You also get something really great, which is actually domain privacy. So that means all of your personal information that you put in won't be made available. And to be honest, it's literally no more at the current time that I'm looking at this. So Choice Plus for me is definitely the one I wanna go for. So let's hit select on that. The next thing you'll have to do is type in a domain name that you want, and you can choose between either .com, .online, or lots of other things as well. So let's maybe try a techzg.co and press next. Great, that's available. So I can use that domain for my website. And now we just have to put in our personal information here. This has to be correct for you. Now you can choose how long you want the account plan for. It chooses 36 months as a default. You can choose either two years or one year. I'm just gonna go for one year right now. It's a little bit more expensive per month, but the plan in total is cheaper. You can then go down to the package extras and they've selected something for you here. You can just uncheck that, it's not really necessary. You get free domain privacy with this plan anyway, so you can just save that. Then you can scroll down and put in your credit card info in this box. Once you've done that, you can scroll down and you have to agree to Bluehost's terms. Also click this so you don't receive any spam emails and offers, and then you just hit submit. That's great, we now have a website and we have hosting as well. You can go through and create your account on Bluehost by pressing this button. You have to create a password here. Once you've done that, you can go down, click the terms and conditions agreement and then create an account with Bluehost. Then we can go and log into the account using that information. Simply type the password that you just created, then click log in. What's great about Bluehost is that all you have to do is answer these questions and it'll set the site up for you. So right now we're going to just create a blog because that is what will be used with WordPress. We can then put this information in. It's not entirely necessary though and creating the site for myself and continue. You can tell Bluehost this as well, but you don't really need to. You can skip this step if you want. You can then type the name of your site, which will be the thing that people see when they log onto it in a browser. You don't have to put a tagline, it's just not necessary. You can tell them how comfortable you are, but again, you don't need to. And then we can continue to the theme selection that we'll be using with WordPress. It's so easy to install WordPress with Bluehost. You can search for free themes or premium themes. Let's go free because there are so many good ones and we can see so many down here that we can choose from. We have the Astra theme or the Sinatra theme. Maybe if you have an outdoor type of company, you might like this. Or maybe if you're selling products, there are just so many to choose from. As you can see, almost 700 pages worth of amazing looking websites that you can customize with just a few clicks. I actually think this one looks really great. It's called Hestia. You can see a, just a big image there on the top and then some information down below. There are really so many themes, but we can actually just use this theme right now. Let's click on that. And you can see Bluehost is now installing WordPress on your site. 
This is gonna be the thing that we use to build a great looking website. It really is so simple. And now we go to my sites and we definitely want to log in with WordPress and we can get right into WordPress editing our website. And that's it, we're now in WordPress and we can change absolutely everything about the website that people will see when they come to our domain name. Really exciting and there's so many things we can change. So if we wanted, we could go right ahead and just click on customize your site and that would take us straight into the editor where we can just go through everything on that Hestia theme that we chose. Remember that when we were signing up with Bluehost. But I wanna show you first some other things you can do. Maybe you wanna look at other themes and there are some other options we can go through. So right now we're in the Bluehost login and there are a certain things that they give us. So you can click on themes. So you can look at loads of different themes if you want. The thing you're gonna notice here though, especially with the themes on Bluehost, is that they all cost money. They're like $60. And I'm not saying that they're bad themes. You might wanna have a look at them. If you think one is really right for your type of website, then certainly if you wanna do that, go ahead and maybe buy one. But I also wanna show you a way of looking for a ton of free themes as well, because I think they are just as good, especially if you're looking to build a simple website. So we can actually come to the left-hand side, come down and then click on appearance. And then there's a few different things here. As you can see, you've got background, premium themes, Hestia options. That is the theme that we're using at the moment that we installed when we went through the Bluehost login. But you can also just come to themes here and then you can search through loads of others. They're right here, so clicking on themes just takes us down to a few more. You can see Hestia that we've got right now. There's a couple of others that we can add. You can also go to add new theme, so we click on that one. That takes us through basically to even more, and obviously it thinks that we don't want Hestia anymore, so it's asking us some questions, but you don't have to do that. You can see there are loads of featured themes, so there are just so many. This one's really great if you've got a business and maybe you've got like um, a digital business with some plans that you wanna put right on the front page. This is like a news website. So many really cool themes that you can get for free as well that you can find in here. You can also search here by premium or latest or popular. So there are definitely some options for you. If you want to search for themes or anything, you can click here. So maybe if you go online and you search in Google for a theme that you want, you can definitely search for it here. So if I just put Hestia in, it's gonna come up with that Hestia theme that we've already got. And it's right there, you can see. If you don't want, you can just X out. There are so, so many different themes, really good free ones as well. Also something that you might wanna do if you're really looking to just start afresh with a great theme and really set up your WordPress right is coming down here to plugins. You can see that there's actually a message on here right now. So if we go to installed plugins, when you sign up with any host, so this is Bluehost, but it works pretty much with anyone, no matter who you go for, they are going to install loads of plugins that come um, with your hosting. And to be honest, you don't really need them. They just kind of clutter up things and they keep sending you messages and it's kind of annoying. So we have like an anti-spam here, which is in itself spam and just some other things that may be useful for you, but you kind of have to think of these as like those apps that come pre-installed when you buy a smartphone, all of those apps that you're never gonna use, but they have on there for some reason. Most of this just, you don't really need. So you can actually just go through and just delete all of them. You can actually come up here to plug in, just select all, then go to bulk actions and click deactivate, press apply. That has now deactivated all of those plugins and you can see the messages have gone from the left hand side. You can actually just go to bulk editing all of them. You can just press delete as well. So that will get rid of all of those plugins. Don't worry, you can search for the plugins again and we'll go through that in a second, but I just wanna get rid of these to make everything fresh. So hit apply. You can also click on okay for that one. As you can see, it is deleting all of those plugins. So you've got a brand new fresh start with WordPress. We can then go and add a couple of plugins that I think are really great. So let's go to add new and we can search for something called Beaver Builder. Let's type that in Beaver Builder. Sounds kind of weird, but actually what it is, is basically a theme builder. It's going to help you really uh, build the website really simply and easily. There's a few different builders. Actually, you have Beaver Builder. You also have Gutenberg and they are drag and drop editors that are gonna help you build your site so easily. So we definitely want these here. 
You can install Beaver Builder if you want. So that is a website builder, but you're gonna have to install some other themes as well. Like if you want a amazing selection of great themes overall. So you can actually come to this one, which is called Starter Templates. It has Elementor, Beaver Builder, Gutenberg, and Brizzy Templates. So you have all of the best website builders that are really easy to use, plus a load of starter templates that look really good. And you can see, I think this is one of the most active installations on the whole of WordPress. Pretty much everyone uses it, so we can come to install this because it's just got so much good stuff for us. So as you can see, that's installing now. We can then click on activate once that is installed. Great, so we do have a new plugin now and this is the only one we have. So let's look at C library because there are so many really cool features and themes that we can use with this. When we come through to here, you have an option of which site builder that you want to use. Elementor is really great, it's really simple. As I said, we also have Beaver Builder and Gutenberg, even Brizzy. You can literally just choose all of these. Maybe you have one that you prefer over another. Anyway, let's choose Elementor for this one, click on it, and then it will take you through to this page. So this is all of the themes that you can use with Elementor. If you wanna change the website builder, you can change it up here, and then the themes will change because you can edit some themes with Elementor or Brizzy or any of them, so you can change that there. You can also go to free, and these are all the free themes that we can edit, and there are a lot. Then what you can do is basically just click on one that you like the look of, for example, this one. These are completely free themes. So with this theme, we get a homepage, an about us page, work with me, contact, and a books page. You of course don't have to use all of these pages. You can delete them with Elementor, but you can see the website as it is. If you don't like that, you can just go back up here and search for one that will suit you very well. So once you've done that, and I'll just click on this one to show you, yep, I like this one. What you can go and do is press import home template or import complete site. So if you import the home template, you are just gonna get the home page. If you import the complete site, you're gonna get all of the pages that come with the theme. So you may choose one or the other. I'm just gonna hit import complete site right now. It's gonna come up with this box. Once that's loaded, you'll have these options. I would just press delete previously imported site because you've probably got another theme on there or depending on what web host you used, you might have a theme already installed. So just go and delete that because it will basically start afresh for you. I'll click that now and it's gonna take a few minutes to import all of the themes and all of the images and everything else like that. Great, that's loaded now and it only took a few minutes. So once that's done, just hit view site right here and it's gonna take you right through to essentially your website with the theme and Elementor that we just installed. You can then go and edit this theme. It's right here, edit with Elementor. So we now have a WordPress website with a free theme and we can edit that theme to make it just how we want using Elementor. If you want a ton of way more in-depth tutorials on how to actually use Elementor and build websites with WordPress, then you can check out my other videos. That's definitely for a different video. This is just installing WordPress and Elementor on Bluehost. And as I said, if you wanna sign up with Bluehost, you haven't already, that link is in the description for a free domain and pretty cheap web hosting. But good luck with your website. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.